Sea otters have to be one of the cutest animals in our world, especially the baby ones. They live in the coastal waters of the northern and eastern North Pacific and are unusual amongst marine mammals in that they do not have a layer of blubber to keep them warm, but depend on their thick fur for insulation. Sea otter fur can have up to 1 million hairs per square inch, making it the densest fur in the world. Their fur consists of two layers, a fluffy undercoat and long waterproof guard hairs. Their fur is an incredible 1.5 inches thick when dry. The guard hairs form a waterproof barrier and sebaceous secretions from glands keep them well oiled. Around each guard hair are 10 to 100 under hairs which are covered in microscopic barbs which tangle the hairs together and trap a layer of insulating air next to the skin. Sea otters spend a lot of their time grooming, blowing air into their fur. The bubbles of air prevent water reaching their skin, so keeping it dry, but also keeps them buoyant on the water surface and it also helps the sea otter to swim with heavy objects up from the bottom of the sea. Sea otter pups are born with a coat that acts like a life jacket, so they are very buoyant indeed and unable to dive until at two months of age when they shed this coat. In a paper published in July this year, scientists have discovered that it is not just the dense fur that is keeping these creatures warm. Sea otters have a very high metabolic rate, in fact, their resting metabolic rate is three times that of any other similar sized animal. Because of this high metabolic rate, they have to eat up to a quarter of their body mass in food every day and spend up to half of their day eating. They need all these calories as their muscles use them to generate heat. When muscles contract during exercise or shivering, they generate heat. But muscles can also generate heat without being physically active in a process called non-shivering thermogenesis. This process generates the heat needed for the sea otters to live in seawater temperatures that range from 0 to 15 degrees Celsius. So the sea otter is not just dependent on its lovely fur coat to keep it warm, but also the way in which its muscles work to produce heat, even when the muscle is not moving. An amazing adaptation that enables this small marine mammal to survive the cold water temperatures of its environment. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and share with your like-minded friends.